Hello, powerful manifester. How you doing today, Constance Arnold? I thought I would do this quick video. It's just something that's been on the inside of me to see if this might help you. Uh, you guys know that I do a lot of teaching about creating from the inside out. So let me just give you just a couple of quick, quick nuggets that I want you to remember. Number one, God has already given you all things. If you're coming from a Christian perspective, from a quantum physics, all possibilities exist. And every day you are just choosing. So moment by moment, you are creating your own reality. But I want to talk a little bit about the quantum world, just a little bit, and quantum prayer. So uh, they say that only 1% of manifestation of, or of things that we can see, uh, we can observe with our conscious mind, uh, you know, that 3D world. The other 99.999, and I could keep going, percent, is pure energy, is light, and it's atoms. So if you want to create something, you're going to have to tap into that spiritual realm, that invisible realm. We know that in the quantum world, is when you put your focus on something or when you put your attention on something or when you pray and you believe that you receive that that 99.999, I call it possibilities, collapses down into the um, 3D plane of your life. So scientists tell us that when we just begin to think about what we want, let's just say if you begin to think about, I want more abundance. You don't have to know how. Uh, abundance is my unlimited birthright. Uh, there's unlimited abundance in the world. You begin to think about it. You begin to say it because we know your words are vibrational. You begin to see it in your imagination. You begin to see yourself, your business increasing. Let me just use that as an example. They say that the atoms in your part of the world, okay, in Atlanta, begin to move and rearrange and attract other atoms, let's just say in Europe or Africa, any other world, that are like what I have been thinking about in my business or with your health or, or whatever you want. And it begins to come together and align itself with your dominant thinking, imagination, and beliefs. So if you are thinking about lack, you're going to get more of that because really everybody, creation is finished. The Bible says it and never God has said creation is finished. You're not really trying to create nothing. You are just deciding what you want and you are assuming with your imagination with your thoughts, we know your thoughts always precede your manifestation and with your words you are aligning all of that. And so light, you are aligning, rearranging light, energy, everything is energy, and atoms to align with what you want. That's powerful. So what does that mean on a daily basis? On a daily basis, you get clear about what you want, you get clear about what you want, write it down. When you're writing, it's a form of prayer. You, you know that everything is being held in potential form, waiting for you to decide, I want a, I want an orange cup. I start thinking about an orange cup. I start seeing one. I start seeing an orange cup on my table with great tea, organic tea in it. All of the atoms, all of the energy, uh, all of the light begins to rearrange. 
And so this is just so simple. So only think about what you want. Only talk about what you want. That's why you've heard me say, if you're critical, you're creating. If you're judging, you're creating. That's why it's so important what you decide to give your attention to. That is so important. You are spending your attention. And you know how much I've been teaching on imagination. Then you, uh, uh, I heard Mike Povich say that when you are in your imagination on the inside, you are face to face with God. You're one with God. It is the power and the energy and the glory of God. That's bringing your imagination to pass. So it's like a seed. You think about it. You imagine it. You say it. You plan it. You think about it. You believe it. You imagine it. You planted it in your heart or subconscious. You are planning it there. And the interesting thing is the seed that you plant has the ability to bring itself to pass. What 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 kind of seeds you've been planting? So it's kind of like if I plant a corn seed, what am I going to get? Corn. It rains, the sun shines on it. And one day I look out, the Bible says, the blade, uh, the seed, the blade, then the full ear of corn. Then the next day, I grew up in the country, y'all, in Tennessee. And then it would rain. And then a couple of days, you would see a little ear of corn beginning to come out. So this is just really quick. Write down what you want every day. Begin to think it. Assume that it is yours. You don't have to know how. Um, imagine it. Uh, align your words with it. Know that it is the power, the glory of God. And imagine yourself. And you imagine in the alpha of the theta state that it is already done thank you father thank you universe okay guys so you guys know i have over 700 archived podcasts on the law of attraction radio network that you can listen to or watch here please tell your friends about the think believe and manifest talk show i would love to do a 20 minute uh, discovery call with you. I coach clients on five continents in the area of business, relationships, uh, law of attraction, uh, uh, create, uh, if you're over 50 or you can be any age, how to make the second half of your life better than the first. I'm a master's level counselor, certified law of attraction coach, and a certified dream coach. But more importantly, I'm just not talking, I'm living it. Email me, Constance at fulfillingyourpurpose.com. Have a great day, everybody.